On the birth of your child, a demon appears and says, your child will be extraordinarily attractive, you shall receive one billion dollars if they are a virgin at age 25, otherwise your soul and theirs will be mine. You cannot inform your child of any aspect of the deal. What is your plan? Will this billion be adjusted for inflation? Someone is finally asking the right question. Make it 500 million and 12 and a half, and you're on. Dot. Rapunzel that kid. Rapunzel birthed twins at age 14. You effed. I now know demons are real and have tons of money. And hashtag X200B, new career, demon hunter. Move to a secluded area, become disgustingly religious. Cry every night for 25 years. Collect 1 billion dollars. Keep them in basement. Give them nothing but art supplies, a waste chute slash bathroom, a water source, and a food source. Sell the paintings and live comfortably. Build an underground bunker stocked with necessities for 25 years and convince my child that we're living in a post-apocalyptic hellscape. It would probably be so mentally scarring when we got the money and I revealed it was a ploy that our lives would be even more ruined and we'd never recover. Damn, this demon is a stone-cold bastard. Pulled twist, the actual apocalypse happens 24 years and 364 days in. You have no idea due to the isolation. You walk out of the bunker on the kid's 20 fifth birthday a billionaire and die of radiation exposure. Don't raise them at all, so they don't develop any social skills. Throw in braces, and a terrible haircut for extra protection. Then, use some of that billion dollars to rehabilitate them after they are 25. This might work for a son, but will just make a daughter look like an easy target to some boys. A chastity belt. It's an everlast. It. Wow. Thanks kind, fellow man in tights. Offer them one million dollars if they fill the Pokemon Go Pokedex. Edit, combined with ensuring he becomes a Mormon. You really chose the only game that makes them actually get out of their basement? Say no. No, thank you. Let's show some manners when dealing with a demon. Get them a World of Warcraft subscription. Destroy the child, the body shall age. Hum. Thinking outside the box so no one gets inside the box. I like it. I won't tell them about the deal. I will tell then I will give them 100 million dollars if they are a virgin at 25. I would also introduce them to reddit since everyone here is a virgin. I'd also try to get them into MMOs. I would also try to make them paranoid about STDs. Since I don't like the soul stealing part, I wouldn't let them get a driver's license and I would move to the middle of nowhere and not let them communicate with people lol that I don't approve of first. Also. I hope my parents took this steal. Edit, typo. As someone who was homeschooled until high school, homeschool them all the way through high school. Took me years to be able to figure out how to talk to people, and my social skills are still whack. I probably would never have figured out how to get laid if the homeschooling had gone through high school. If it makes you feel better, I went to school all the way through and I still have no social skills. That is literally the basis for every fairy tale. Why do you think the princess is trapped in the high tower, guarded by dragons or babysat by little people? Wake up people it was the one billion dollars. Oh yeah that will be my answer. I will lock the kid in a high tower. Except I'll get better dragons. I would lie to my child claiming that an angel made a deal with me for half a billion if they are a virgin at 30. I haven't told them about the real deal so I haven't broken any rules. Once the kid hits 25 I collect the billion and give them half and a bunch of condoms and tell them to go get some. I think the easiest thing here is tell your kid that both of you and the kid are carriers of a rare disease that is lethal. And that basically if they have sex with someone there is a fairly high chance it could kill that person in an excruciating manner. You are going to get a billion dollars out of this oh, so you could even spend a couple hundred or thousand dollars to create fake advocacy websites for this disease and pay some people on Fiverr to make YouTube videos about them also having the disease. 
and how it really did kill people they had sex with. Then like, make sure you tell your kid that the disease is only transmitted through sexual intercourse and they can still hook up with people in other ways without killing them. That way they don't have to go through life without any kind of gratification. I feel like this would work. When you get the money from the demon, just fake it like you won the lottery and pretend to use some of the money to invest in some kind of miracle cure experimental pill that is actually a placebo. Tell your kid they are cured and that should fix everything. And basically hope they never learn how to do proper internet searches themselves or speak to a doctor on their own. Well, he can take his billion and go fuck himself with it. I'm getting my kid into modeling and social media, then I'll help them start clothing and perfume lines. I'm a go full Kardashian and get that billion a lot sooner. Edit, my kid's 10 twelfths. Don't worry about it. If he's anything like me, he'll easily make it to 25 as a virgin bee. But he's not anything like you, he's extraordinarily attractive. Introduce him to Reddit. Now send him over to the Brainsel forum, he'll never get laid. Though it would be a sad path to see him go down and a tough one to break. Don't have sex until you're 26 and I'll give you 100 million dollars. I'll know if you did. Technically not informing them. Just be a normal Asian parent. Continually undermine their self-esteem until they have no sense of self-worth and they dedicate their lives to getting good grades and making you proud. Don't invite Uncle Dan over for one. As long as he doesn't go all the way, Dan could mentally make them terrified of sexual contact long past the age of 25. Flex tape. Get them hooked on games and Christianity, checkmate motherfucker your existence is your downfall. This explains Mormonism better than any other leading theory. Keep him slash her at home until he or she is 25. And make sure not to break their arms. First I need to find someone who will actually want a kid with me. Don't worry, it's part of the demon pact. Overfeed my child until they weigh a couple hundred pounds. Good luck getting laid if you weigh as much as a Fiat Punto. A slash SSBBW remember pal you asked for it. The old fashioned lock on all the doors and windows. A slit in the door for food. Him poor as hell, he'll do anything. Pretty sure just not take the deal. If it's enforced then it's a curse. And why would a demon curse me with something that has a positive payoff? Furthermore, if a demon is in front of me trying to acquire my soul. I now know two things for certain. 1. I have a fucking soul. 2. Demons are fucking real. I can now infer that if a demon wants my soul then it's worth something, either to myself or to someone else. That value by current reference is equal to no less than 1 billion dollars, and likely considerably more due to the fact that the demon didn't just offer to buy it, but also wrapped that purchase around an absurdly difficult challenge. At this point I'm inclined to say no based on principle alone. But the implications of demons and a soul and all of that coupled with a cursory knowledge of religion and the occult tells me that likely implies the existence of angels and other supernatural good entities. With them the corresponding alternatives to having my soul owned by a demon. So yeah, I'm gonna just say no, fuck off, and use my new knowledge of the existence of superior beings of good and evil to make sure I don't lose my apparently absurdly valuable soul. Homes cool macron backslash underscore underscore slash macron. Teach them to play Dungeons and Dragons. I should be offended by this, but luckily Vicious Mockery only does 1d4 damage and while I have disadvantage on my attack roll I can simply use a spell that instead requires a save such as Toll the Dead which should deal 1d12 necrotic in the event that stubbed your toe recently. Yeah you aren't fully wrong there. I'd make my child a Weezer fan. I will name them a virgin. Introduce them to Fortnite. I'll buy my child a gaming PC and give him unlimited access to anime and other consoles, as well as my credit card to buy new games online. Boom virgin forever. I go to my psychiatrist, because clearly the medication's having weird side effects. Cut his penis. What about his butt virginity? Thank you for your money Mr. Demon. It's just what you described as a challenge is routine for my genes. With or without looks. I believe my mom is betting for 2 billion. I'm 48. I raise him in Saudi Arabia. 
Just hope they inherit my social skills. The problem will take care of itself. Clarification question. Traditional concept of virginity, penis in vagina, or more broad scope, is anal on the table? I asked my mom this. She laughed and told me I wasn't attractive. 